highlighting political incivility, President Trump's latest message to galvanize midterm voters is loud and clear. The choice could not be more clear. Democrats produce mobs. Republicans produce jobs. All right, let's bring in Juan Williams, co-host of The Five, right here on Fox News and author of the new book, What the Hell Do You Have to Lose? And Eric Metaxas, his newest book, Donald Drain's The Swamp. Both of them are New York Times best-selling authors. Welcome to you both. Good evening. Thank you. Okay, so you heard the president there. He's had this line that's been very catchy over the last few days, jobs, not mobs, trying to differentiate the... Uh, you know, two parties. But he also had this problem. Townhall.com talks about something he said in Montana. He said Trump's video followed a remark he made at a rally in Montana Thursday night where he said Democrats produce mobs, Republicans produce jobs. But he also drew criticism for joking about Representative Greg Gianforte body slamming a reporter, quote, any guy that can do a body slam, he is my type. The crowd loved it. But Eric, is he stepping on his own jobs, not mobs message? No, he's not. Actually, it's so funny to me because in a, in a way the jobs, not mobs message ties into this. Your average American may not say it on TV, but they see what's going on. The mobs that we've seen, the, the lack of respect, uh, the lack of civility that the left has resorted to is horrifying. It's as un-American as anything can be. And people see that. Your average American, as I say, they may not think of themselves as a conservative or pro-Trump, but they think, my goodness, if you've run out of arguments, you resort to this kind of thing, which means you have no arguments. So it's very, very bad uh, for the Democrats. But I really think that they have, they've disgraced themselves. And so when I think when Trump cracks a joke like that, similarly, your average American sees it as a joke and enjoys it. Uh, I really think that we've never seen uh, the Beltway elites as out of touch with middle America, never, never in our history. And it's just a dramatic divide. It's clearer than it's ever been. Well, the, the crowd in Montana liked it. But Juan, you know, the president is focusing on folks like Eric Holder, Hillary Clinton, Maxine Waters, these mobs that are showing up uh, against cabinet officials and Republican senators and saying this has gotten out of hand and uh, he's using it to campaign against them. Well, he's, used, he's attacking Democrats, he's attacking reporters, and I think it's kind of unfortunate, you're, you know, given your previous segment. This week he's talking about, oh, let's celebrate, it's so funny to body slam a reporter. You know, to me, uh, again, there are people who might say President Trump is no snowflake, he's no politically correct guy, he makes fun of these people, what's the big deal? But again, when you talk about mockery, uh, about going after people, it's again it, I think people think what is going on that's not presidential that's not the way that anybody would think that Americans lead America's leader uh, should behave and then of course you actually invite the idea that the Trump rallies where he's talking about the American press as enemy of the people and he's going on he's saying he's thinking hey gee these rallies get out of control they look more like mob than somebody simply One, is calling somebody out and saying you're my representative you. and I want you to hear my perspective as that's an American ridiculous. citizen that's ridiculous I I'm amazed that you say things like that I've watched you for years I respect you you're, you're, you're falling into this trap of trying to pull any political thread you can the idea that that these rallies uh, that anything bad is going on, that's sheer nonsense. It's sheer nonsense. Well, you can raise your eyebrows. It's nonsense. The only time people see violence is with Antifa and is with left-wing crazies. You should be calling them out. Eric, Shame let's, okay, so let's stop. Remember that at Trump rallies during the campaign, you had fights breaking out, people attacked, and the president saying, go ahead, I'll pay your bills. And you know, just you talk last about a talking week, point. we had that happened that's one not time. a talking point. That's that reality. happened one time, and Sean. Here, no, and Antifa let has me been destroying property. Oh, but, I mean, this is, is Charlottesville ridiculous. Charlottesville one time? This was is, that a real mob? Okay, but wait a minute. We're not saying that the president was encouraging anything that happened in Charlottesville. No, I'm, what, what I'm, I'm not saying, saying it, but I'm saying that when you talk about mobs, where was the mob? That was a mob that were people who were Trump supporters You're going back to Charlottesville? I'm just, I want to go to Proud Boys in New York last week. How about that? That's all you have? You know what? You've got to be kidding. You've got to be kidding. You're too smart. You know what is going on. I have seen violent left-wing mobs in Manhattan. I was walking down yeah, the street Proud Boys with last my wife, week, which is and a I right saw a guy group. saying, F the cops, F the cops. They were absolutely out of control. A huge left-wing mob. And you know who was protecting them? 
the cops. The cops yeah. were standing right there while people practically spit in their Here, face. Here's the you real issue, deal with Eric. This. The real You've issue deal with is this. that the Republicans and President Trump at this moment don't have a strong message. The tax cuts haven't That's worked. That's a joke. So what's I, working you know what? is right, we're going to go at That's amazing. That's amazing. Gentlemen, gentlemen. It's hilarious. Gentlemen, yeah. I think you're both smart, intelligent guys. And I, I don't think we're going that. to solve any of this tonight. But we thank you for a spirited debate. In the meantime, Eric and Juan are best-selling authors and feisty debaters. Thank you both very much. <laughs> you're welcome.